My name is uh, Kevin Murray and I'm, I'm the chair of what up to now has been uh, the Scottish Planning Skills Forum and, and that's something that has been together for a few years now. It's not something that's just arrived but this is our first major public facing and professional facing event um, and we're delighted that so many of you have come to be part of this from so many different organizations, public, private, voluntary, government bodies, universities, and so on. And we think we're going to have a great day today. Um, we're going to be tweeting about it. Some of you possibly already have been or have been following it. The hashtag, if you can see it, is on the screen, um, Partners in Planning, and also at PIP Scotland. Uh, PIP with a, a, a lower case. What's that line called? The low line? Underscore. underscore. Pip underscore Scotland. So uh, you can follow it. That I think people have already been getting some of the pictures of the, the artistic uh, cows uh, as you came in, getting those out. Because we are in a fantastic, this is a community venue where a lot of the benefits uh, uh, in terms of the income generated go back into the community. And, and that's maybe symbolic of a, a lot of what we're about today. This is not about a, a top-down initiative. It's about a whole range of people coming together uh, to do things collectively to upgrade their skills on behalf of the community. So today is going to be an opportunity to do a number of things to refresh your skills, no matter how skilled you think you are, no matter how talented you are, it's an opportunity to update those, but also to reflect on our collective practice in Scotland. Individual, yes, organizational, yes, but it's across the whole spectrum of those operating and planning. So we'd like you to think beyond your current role. And hopefully this kind of initiative will help you prepare for future roles, future jobs, and so on. And particularly to consider and reflect on leadership, what leadership skills we need. And we're going to hear a little bit more about that in a few moments. It's a great opportunity to connect with others, to network and share, as we always do in these. And the major uh, part of today will be uh, learning about the portal and we're going to hear a little bit about that from Irene before we, we, we get into the, the, the workshop uh, stage. This is two-way. Uh, it's very much interactive in the middle part of the day and we're also looking for your advice on ways forward to, uh, towards the end. But I'd like you to think of it as a workout. You're coming here, uh, we're going to be stretching, bending. It should be fun, creative, it should feel like play, but you should feel that you, you benefit from it overall. And the way that we've structured this is you're going to get a series of hopefully very short, uh, when I say hopefully, I know they will be short, briefing presentations so you understand where we're at, where we're coming from, but the key elements of the day are the marketplace sessions. So two cycles, one before lunch, one after, each one with, with two marketplace sessions. And, and those are intensive sessions uh, which have been prepared uh, to help you update your skills. And then a reflection and consideration how we go forward from there. And it would be great if you could stay to the end because we're hoping to do a, a photo opportunity at the end. And in the middle part of the day, uh, we will have the minister here, Kevin Stewart, is coming to join us. So there will be an opportunity both to network with him and talk to him. He likes to hear people's views and opinions on how things are going and also get some uh, feedback and thoughts from him too. Hopefully, you're aware of what the range of marketplace sessions are. I'm not going to run through them there. You're going to hear more from Irene in just a moment uh, on those. Um, but we, we hopefully... Uh, think you'll see that there's a rich range of possibilities and that you'll be doing things in them where you will expand your skills, you'll be able to share, but also perhaps you'll experiment and explore new things that you haven't uh, maybe worked with in your everyday job. This partnership uh, has come together from a whole range of players. Um, I'm going to list them. The Scottish Consultants Network, the key agencies group of, of the different government um, uh, bodies and organizations, Her, uh, Dundee, uh, Glasgow, and Heriot Watt universities have all been working with us on this. Uh, HOPS, the Improvement Service, PAS, um, RTPI Scotland as an entity, but also more widely RTPI through their education side. The Scottish Government have a, been a key supporter from the beginning, and we're also delighted that the Scottish Young Planners Network are part of it. And there are others that we're talking to about joining uh, this important forum. It has come together as a response to a whole range of circumstances. We were around before the planning review and the planning review has come along and has given us added impetus. 
There's a change in the skills that we require to practice planning and also sometimes the priorities within those skills. There has been changes in legislation, uh, knowledge that's available sometimes from research, but also changing practice in terms of how we do things. Think about the digital revolution and, and how that has impacted on planning over the last decade or so. But some organizations, maybe all, have had, particularly through the recessionary, the post-crash era, reduced resources. Uh, some departments have had most people over 50 go with a whole range of knowledge and, and background skills depart at that time. So in some places, uh, we've had issues of leadership too, in terms of professional leadership, departmental leadership. And within that, we therefore have to help upskill the next generation, the next cohort coming through with new ways of, of learning, but also new ways of practice. And, and that last point we want to emphasize for today, it is very important, the issue of collaboration. This is not about planners looking inwardly, talking to planners. It's about networking with different disciplines and backgrounds and specialisms, both in terms of how we learn, but then how we apply that learning in practice. So to conclude my part, I'm just letting you know what we've been doing over the last few months and a couple of years. We've looked, um, if you can see this hierarchy from the bottom, we've looked at the evidence of the issues out there from a whole range of organizations. What are the needs? Uh, what are the gaps and priorities in terms of skills backfilling? Um, and, and, and we've identified a whole range, some of them coming from RTPI service, uh, surveys, others from university research and elsewhere. We've got together, as, as you can see from the range of partners, a lot of the key players, hopefully we think we've got them all, but we know there are more that we can connect to. Um, the, the players involved in the activity, not only of learning, but of, of applying that learning. And now, through network, uh, so networked events like today, we're bringing the information out and giving people the opportunity to get involved, uh, access the information through things like the portal, but also develop their learning. All of this has a purpose above that, of course, which is to apply the skills to have an impact in the neighborhoods, the communities, the towns, the villages that we all work in. So we're not doing this just to have skills. We're doing it to apply those fresh skills. So we have identified a whole range of possibilities in our work with, with you, with the universities. With, those are just some of them listed there. Uh, that list of, of possibilities, I can think of others like enforcement that have come up in our discussions. We're trying to bring to you, and you're almost our, our experiment group. We also want to get to others out there, to your colleagues, to your networks, and the next generation coming through. We want to be able to find ways to upgrade those skills and to do it in a way that, that works for you. So we are interested in your feedback from today uh, and beyond. Um, design might be part of it. Uh, economics may be part of it. Environment, flooding, climate change, all sorts of things. You let us know what you need or your colleagues need because you may think you, you have the knowledge. What do you need for your department and how can we help? So to lead us into the next stage, we've got two presentations. Firstly, from Craig, who's going to be thinking about uh, the, the, the knowledge, skills, and behaviors of the planner of the future. And Irene is then going to set us up with information on the portal and how we're going to run the workshops. So I hope we're going to have a great day. Um, I'm going to thank, first of all, Craig for conceiving of the forum and the partnership in the first place. I want to thank the Scottish Government for backing us from the beginning, but giving us resource uh, to help make today happen. I want to thank, in particular, Irene Beautyman, who's done a fantastic amount of, of work taking the ideas and evolving both the portal and this event uh, into what we've got today. This wouldn't happen without all the, the hard work that Irene has put in, but she's been ably supported by many of your organizations, people putting together pieces of work that will be running um, in, in these sessions over the next few hours. So I want to thank everyone who's been involved in putting it together, and I hope you're going to have a, a great day, I'm sure you are, and uh, let's enjoy it and, and, and make the most of it. Thanks very much, and over to Craig.